Hi everyone, welcome to the 99th session of Python for Machine Learning. In this session, I will show you the process to decode and get the categorical values back. Like I have a column and in order to use the uh, machine learning algorithm, everything should be converted into like uh, numeric values and we use uh, one hot encoding or dummy encoding to convert that into n number of columns, n minus one number of columns. So in this uh, example, what I will show you, we have a column, categorical column, I will apply the uh, get dummies function and it will be con converted. We have a column, we will apply get dummies function and it will be transformed into a uh, transform into the n number of columns which will have values 0 and 1. The, in this video, I will show you how to convert, like encode the values from that converted columns back to the categorical values. So let's start. I have a pandas and the uh, numpy library and I will import this data set one. So I'll simply uh, import this and i'll show the content of this data set so what i will do i have a weekday column okay i'll take this and i'll convert it using the get dummies function and then i'll show you how to get it back by using two methods okay so how it works is so first of all what i will do i will convert it using get dummies and we'll say uh, the name of that is yf underscore one hot which is equals to pd dot get underscore dummies and we'll give df weekday okay after this, we'll print this one hot df underscore one hot. Okay. Now, if you see this, we the conversion has already happened. We do uh, all our like categorical is converted into the dummy columns. Okay. Now, after this, I want a process where this whatever I have converted, I want to go back to this column. I want this weekday, Monday, Tuesday. Considering that you have not saved the original data set and you want to go back to the original, uh, how the data set, how the column was exactly. So there are two methods. The method one is using the uh, function idx max. So what we will do, uh, it's very simple. Uh, method one will be, we have, we'll say df under encode underscore cat which is equal to, we'll give df underscore one hot and there is a feature called id idx max and you give x axis is equals to one and then you print df underscore so we get a column back right so now how this works i'll show you that so this very simple method how we can get it using just a one step method now but at the back end how does it work i'll show you that first of all what we'll do we have this we have this uh the transformed uh data set like from one column, it is being transformed into seven columns. Now, after that, what we'll do, the very first step, what I will do is, we'll see which all, uh, like this, df underscore one hot not equal to zero. What this will do exactly? This will show you, convert my, uh, the entire data set into true and false, okay? And it will show the uh, value true where I have one and it will show the value false where I have the value zero. Now, method two, this is step number one. It's just... Five six step where we will get there. We will understand it. Step number two, and then after this, uh, in step number two, what I will do, I will simply I'll give np dot where and I'll pass this value here, and this it will it will give me two values. Okay, I'll show you that. Execute this. Why it is it is it has given me uh, arrays with two values. This is first index and this is the value of the like second. How why how this is coming? See, you take zero for zero. What is my where I have my value one for zero? My value one is if I take Friday as zero, Monday is true, right? So Monday is one. Now for one, where is my value true? So for one, my value is true is zero, one, two, three, four, five, six. So six is the value here, right? Now for two, second index, where my value is true, it's at zeroth index, okay? Zeroth uh, place. Now for third index, where my value is true. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. You can see. So this is the way. Now what we will do, next step is very simple. We have got this, right? We have got this value and then we'll give the index one. Now the moment we give this, uh, this is the full output of that first line which we have executed. Now we want only the second part. So that's why I have given one here and we have ended up getting this value. Now what is the value of df underscore one hot code dot columns? Just execute this you will get okay if we pass 1 comma 5 comma 6 as per this as per this index 1 comma 5 uh, comma 6 should throw friday is 0 1 monday saturday is 2 sunday is 3 thursday is 4 tuesday is 5 and wednesday is 6 so uh, my output will be 
uh, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. We will execute this. Sorry, here it will be columns. Okay, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday has come. So till here we have reached. What we'll do, we will simply pass. Like we already know, right? If we execute this, we already know where my value is true and in which for which index where my value is true. And from there, we will map it with the columns and we'll get the exactly we'll get a list. So what we'll do, we will pass this entire value. This is the value, right? Where we have the positioning uh, for zero, where we have a true for second index, where we have true for third index, where we have true. So now what we'll do, uh, the last step is like uh, we will give we have this value columns and inside the column. What we'll do, we'll pass this np dot where whatever we have executed this. I execute this. So we have got the columns, but this is not in the form of a column. It is like one by one. So in order to convert this, we will say pd dot series, and inside this, we'll pass this full value, and we will say the name of this as categorical column one. Now we will execute this, and we will we'll print this value. So we get get the exact column what we have. So this is Monday. Wednesday, Friday, Tuesday, Friday again, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Thursday, and Sunday. So that is that's how we can use like uh, 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 the function of uh, already the get dummies function, or we can use our uh, mechanical method and we can uh, get back the uh, uh, decode the values back from uh, zero and one to the uh, categorical values. So that is for the session. Thanks a lot for watching the session. If you feel this video is helpful, please press the like button and subscribe to this channel. And uh, as per my voting, uh, like uh, I'll be coming up with uh, most of the topics that I have already shared in my community. So I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.